The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! This, this is the Players' Lounge. Broadcasting live from Dallas Cowboys World Headquarters at the Star. Now, your hosts, Barry Church, Danny McRae, Heckma Harrison, and Newey Scruggs. Report live from the Star in Frisco, the SWBC Mortgage Studios. Uh, you are now rocking with the best. This is the Players' Lounge, sponsored yes, by Tostitos, the official chip and dip mm-hmm. of the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, per usual, guys, we're going to do what we do. And at the desk, I would call you my co-defendant. Both of y'all are my co-defendants. But yesterday after I asked y'all about contender pretender on the Cowboys, and y'all went the way, I just want y'all to be expecting smoke today. I, I no, 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 no. I want you to expect smoke today. I didn't say they was contenders. Uh, I didn't say they was contenders. I, no. I think, I, think, I think it was a consensus. Yeah, we all said consensus. No, no. I said, it I was, a, I remember an awkward silence. Yeah. I do specifically was, remember I mean, the awkward silence. Let, let, me, let me tell you something, mm-hmm. okay? What? Mm-hmm. When you ask that type of question to me mm-hmm. and Barry, mm-hmm. I think we owe it. To the people that's listening, to really consider what yeah, you ask before we answer versus just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Good to <laughs> Kind of like when we ask you about the Eagles, you'd be like, oh, no, nah, I don't care. They 13 and 1. We said, they suck. <laughs> they nah, sorry. We nah. had to think yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, we got to no. think about it, bro. But hey, he didn't think, he, he, when I ask you about these other teams, you just, bleh, you regurgitate real quick. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, but so see, when it comes yeah, down. Yeah, see, see but, but I work for the Cowboys, yeah, though. So okay. I want to be honest anyway, and fair. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting, <laughs> I'm interrupting myself. Let me introduce the man to the right of me, my man, D Mac. Is back. Perfect Hello. attendance. Mac is in the building. Present. And, 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 and per usual, my dog, box safety extraordinary. Don't throw it up today. I'm about to say, let me, let me, let me, <laughs> you know, it was, it was like Alpha Day, uh, Founders Day. Yesterday, yesterday. So, yeah, so you threw up the wrong man, side. I did every, everything, yeah. man. I was all off. My, all my man Barry Church is in the building. Late. And guys, I'm going to start this like I always start. <laughs> I'm going to start it like I always started. Asking about how your mentals, man, how things going with you. BC, what about yourself, man? Man, things are great. You know, like I said yesterday, the little one, she uh, potty trained. So we, we still going through the kinks right now. You know what I mean? There's going to be some kinks. It's some some setbacks. Kinks. So we still Don't going be through Don't be time, consistency, and proof. Uh, this is true. This is true. So that everything's going good, though, man. Extremely blessed. Beautiful day outside. Uh, wasn't on the course. Decided to come no, in here with hard. my boys that's and talk hard. shop. He decided but, to come to work. <laughs> <laughs> he, but everything's amazing. Everything's amazing. <laughs> you, you peeped that? <laughs> Did you beat that? Decided to he come here to us, work today. Yo, he want us to feel some kind of way Ain't that about crazy, him man. Man. <laughs> Wow, Danny. <laughs> how do you, I don't know how you come behind that, but yeah, how are you, know, man? Life is good, man. Life is good. We not potty training yet, but we are looking for schools. Okay. Uh, her birthday falls uh, after the cutoff, so she would have to start school late. So we looking for you know a little special arrangement for her okay. to get into it because she seems bored. Uh, also blessed because. Once again, got more updates on my man Demar Hamlin. Yes. Speaking to the team, Facetime the Buffalo yeah. Bills today. Gave him some. I don't know what he said to him, but I know that the team was so happy to hear from him. And I know that now their minds can kind of turn to yeah. focusing on what they have to do this yes. weekend versus, hey, is my teammate going to be okay? Because all signs right now are pointing to, if everything continues on the path that it is, he will. Continue to get better. So, that's perfect. Yeah. That's bless, good. bro. No, no, that's that's absolutely a bless. I'm blessed myself, man, with you guys here today getting an opportunity to to uh, host the Players Lounge in Nui Scruggs' his absence, and we did get the we did get the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles update. He and spent the night there last night. He yeah, stayed. you know, and <laughs> he stayed, he stayed. hey, he stayed in there. This is a man that hey will, will will not miss any opportunity to let you know that he balling. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, without a doubt. We well, gonna let you know. He gonna let you know. Pinky finger. To the moon. <laughs> I'm in this thing. I'm just saying. Three times? No, 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 no. What you mean? Oh, ten times. Ten times. Ten times. Hit, hit, <laughs> hit the brakes, champ. Hit the you brakes, know he, You know he sets you up every time he do that, right? He be like, I'm just a mirror. And then he wait for us to say, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He want the flowers. We, we, know, we, what we want the flowers. We know what you're doing, dude. We know what you're doing. We're going to play into it for you, though. Yeah, I'm a little slow, man. I ain't uh, right. <laughs> Thank wait for that is like that ten times. I'm just a mirror. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. Hey, hey, man. Well, Dewey, I'm sure Nui is you getting this smoke today, even in California. If your if your seat is hot, it's because you get roasted here hey. as, as well. But yeah, man, I went back and I listened uh, yesterday 
to you guys speak so or you know articulate so so much about other teams being contenders and pretenders. <laughs> you know, and it just shocked me. It shocked me one that you guys. Well, you know, I said like this. I was more disappointed with you, Barry. With me? I was, with I was disappointed. Yeah, I was disappointed, dog. What? Because I have been planting seeds all season about Saxonville and the Cowboys defense. And I'm like, man, surely I, I've done enough to bring him over to this side. I know he going to be riding his defense, saying that the defense can. Then when the microphone came to you, mm, mm, mm. none of those things came up. He probably was like, man, how many sacks we got in the last few weeks? No. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. No, none of that I came up. Like none, that. Of, none, of, none, of, none of those numbers came up. But what I wanted to, what I, what I was thinking about more than anything, and I look, I completely understand uh, your apprehension about the defense because we haven't had. I mean, there have been moments in time in this season so far that the pass rush has completely disappeared. I, I think you'd agree. The last yeah, couple no, of games yeah. uh, that has been the case. However, mm. what has been a continuous thing. Uh, theme for this defense is turning the ball, getting the turnovers. They have mm-hmm. taken the ball away. Yep. And an alarming rate. They've been yeah, getting they, them. I mean, they've they got Davis them. Mills, Matt Ryan, and they, they and got, they they got Gordon Mitchell. Gordon Mitchell, yeah, couple Dobbs, times. they got them. Hold up, dog. Got them. It's just a whole lot of famous. It's a whole lot of famous. They did, they did, they did. I'm not going to hate on them. It <laughs> don't matter who you're taking away from, they are turning the ball over, and that's what they should be doing against these quarterbacks. So yeah. I'm just I'm just giving you a hard No, time. it's all good. But since it, 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 here's the thing. It's the facts. That's what I'm dealing with, yeah, the facts yeah. and the data, yeah. dog. You like that. Yeah, I know you like that. And I know how you pose the argument. What you'll do is you'll take my argument away from me by stating it and then coming back with a the scenic retake mm-hmm. to make me second guess what I'm saying, yeah. but I'm dealing with the facts here. Yeah. D Mac, 20, 20 turnovers. This is what these guys are doing. And since the stat has been taken, this is, hey, league leading. Mm-hmm. Uh, the last time that the Dallas Cowboys did that was in 1990, where they had nine, uh, 19. And I think that was on the cusp of where you saw the dynasty going. So, all things being considered equal, BC, you yep. should be able to look at this defense and say, even without. Those sack numbers, this defense gives you enough because of that to say these guys can make a run. Without a doubt. I mean, you're speaking you're speaking facts right now. You're speaking facts. And this defense does give you an opportunity to win games. If this defense can continue to take the football away, like we've seen these past couple weeks, they'll always give you an opportunity to win games. The only thing about that is as much as they've turned the ball over or as much as they've gotten the ball from other teams, the Cowboys have also turned the ball I over like just as much. I like that you just did that. Thank you for doing that. See, he's learning that from you. He's getting that from you. But is that, is that, is that true? No, no. Here's, here's the other part about that. You're right. And if you're pointing to Dak Prescott and his league-leading interceptions, wouldn't you know? Last year, that the Super Bowl champion quarterback led the league in interceptions. No, 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 no. Isn't that true? Is that not true? Was that not a fact? So are you trying to base that off of the fact that they can't make it to the Super Bowl based off of that? Come on, dog. So because he went to the Super Bowl, now his uh, interceptions don't matter? I'm not saying that. You talking about Stafford? The man was throwing the game. That's who I'm talking about. Dropped punt. Hold on. Interception away. And Tampa Tampa goes to Super Bowl. If if if, 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 if was a (laughs) fail. I'm not. Come on, dog. Don't give me that now. Come on now. So if we continue to take the ball away, We'll be good, right? I'm just saying, but no, you you counter that by saying, "Oh, you're also giving the ball up." I'm just saying. I mean, let's let's bring that fact to the to the party too. Okay, okay. Listen, I, I, I don't, we went from we went from contenders to Super Bowl. I, no, I, I, no, 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 no. He, he he's no. He's mentioned in, in the uh-uh. last, in the last two page. minutes. In the last two minutes, Barry, he has mentioned the dynasty of the Cowboys. This he is said true. They're on the cusp of the hey, dynasty. He, he mentioned why, that. Why, why we're not talking about what's the Prescott leading the league? What's the matter with me talking about facts about my team? No, I'm just. What's the matter about the facts, dog? I'm just saying. What's the matter about the facts? I'm just saying. We so we in the last few weeks. Before all this, right, when the defense was rolling, right, Mm -hmm. all of a sudden Anthony Brown gets hurt, right? And we all sit over here like, man, I don't know what we're going to do about Kelvin Joseph. We have no idea what what we are going to do. Kelvin Joseph will go out there and he lays an egg. Then you put uh, no shot right in there. He get an interception. Mm -hmm. He – Man, he wasn't Trayvon Diggs out there to where, yeah. where you could just look over there and say, you know what, I think we shirt up, shirt up uh, this spot. This spot right. is it, no longer a concern for us. That is still an issue. Mm-hmm. Right. That's still an issue. So that is a huge thing for rush and cover work together. If you ain't covering, your rush ain't going to work. Mm-hmm. Also, we've seen these quarterbacks come out here and get 
Three step drop, get the ball out of your hand in 2.5 seconds, and that being a serious issue for us. Trevor Lawrence started it. Then we've seen Josh Dobbs do it as well. And both of these offenses gave us problems. I'm just saying, when you look at the team, they're a contender, but if they don't find a way to take care of the ball and continue to turn the ball over, then all of a sudden you don't. And, and you don't, you king, can't overcome some of those problems. And, and right. who's the king of taking what the defense gives you? What quarterback out here is the king of that? Getting rid of the ball like that and the defense, hey. Would that be Tom wanna, Brady? That that's would be Tom one, Brady. And that's that's who will, more than likely, unless, you know, everything goes, which I don't know, it could, it but could. no matter the way it things could. are flying, yeah, it could. that'll be your first-round matchup. Mm-hmm. And he's not going to force the ball over there to Diggs. He ain't going to just throw one up to Diggs. He's going to sit there and chop you away with a 1,000 cuts. Now, Will he get impatient enough to where, you know what, let me just drop back and rip one out and see what Mike Evans can do out there? I'm not so sure about that. I think he will take what the defense gives you and march down the field. Unless we get a pass rush again, unless we can put pressure on that man, it's going to be extremely hard to defeat that 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 that, that the man they call the GOAT. All right? It's going right. to be extremely hard to do that. Can we do it? Of course. Anything can happen in the playoffs. But I'm not going to sit up here and say, hey, we taking the football away. It's a foregone conclusion. Don't, don't forget about stopping the run. Yeah, that too. I but, mean, but your favorite rapper's favorite football team doesn't stop the run, run either. Who so are you talking about? I'm talking. Come I'm talking on, about us, bro. <laughs> what what no, 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 no. Look, okay, okay. Look, we're gonna we get through the show. We're gonna get through this. Us. Yeah, let's, let's get through the show. We're gonna get through this show. So offensively, when you look at what CD Lamb has done. 1,300 yards, 101 catches in that season. That would mark the success that you were looking for at the beginning of the season while you were talking about the absence of Amari Cooper. He's Mm -hmm. answered those questions. You look at – we talked about Tony Pollard yesterday. A touchdown away from having 10 touchdowns, this will be – him and Zeke will be the only duo to have such distinction, 10 touchdowns apiece since – I believe it was Carolina, D'Angelo Williams, and Jonathan Stewart. Oh, yeah, that was real. Uh, yeah. To do that. So these are historic numbers, but none of those things are mentioned when we talk about the Dallas Cowboys because we, you know, look, we got the obvious stuff we got to talk about. <laughs> At the end of the day, what's going to constitute as a successful season for you for the Dallas Cowboys, Danny? Uh, NFC Championship, get there. Okay. Get there. Yeah. Dak has won a playoff game before. All right, we got into it last year where we thought we were rolling, and then we went out there, we couldn't stop the run, and we got out physical by San Francisco. I think the expectation for this team is to win two playoff games. If you don't get a bye, yeah. <laughs> you, need to, you need to win two. I think that's the expectation for me, and I also think that's the expectation for ownership as well. I think, to say the least, <laughs> last season it was, hey, man, I think we have the team to make sure we make a, a, a deep run into the playoffs. Right. So that's my – Expectation, and that's that's my measuring stick for a successful season because we are good enough to make the playoffs. They added another team to get in. Yeah, they were definitely good enough to make a, a into the playoffs. And I'm with you, Danny. I think you know upper upper top owners, management, whatever you want to call it, they want the same thing as well. You know, they want a significant run in the playoffs. They don't just want you know a wild card victory, get to the divisional. Oh, we had a hard fought victory, but we lost. No, they they want to get to that next level. I mean, last time they were in the NFC Championship. Was what, 95, 96? Yeah. Around that time. So it's been a lengthy period of time before the Cowboys have had much success in the playoffs. And if we go back, um, well, look, Garrett was yep. was here. When we was with Garrett, we, you know, made it to the division. We won a playoff no, game. I know so we, we, I know we all went here. Oh, yeah, you went here. But, but we still. <laughs> <laughs> don't put me in. I don't want to take credit for nothing I didn't do. My okay, bad, I don't my take bad. credit for nothing I didn't do. Thank you, Barry. But Garrett was able to win playoff games as well. So, you know, McCarthy, he's had these back to back seasons with 12 victories, and that's, that's, that's kudos to him. He's done a great job of turning the culture around and making this a winning environment um, for Dallas Cowboys fans out there. But until you get to that next level, until you get this team over the you know proverbial hump out there, there's still going to be questions out there. And I think he's the guy that can be able to do that, to get this team going in the right direction and get them over that hump. But we got to see it. We got to see it go out there and materialize in front of everybody that they can get past whatever demons they got. And this year, I think it's a huge year to do that. I mean, you got Dak Prescott. He ain't. He's not a spring chicken anymore. This is what six years, seventh, seventh year in the league. Ezekiel, the same thing. I mean, you got a defense led by one of the best defensive uh, coordinators in the National Football League. Couple injuries right there, but they've been able to, able to overcome those throughout the entirety of the season. So this is the year, man. This is the year that they they got to do something. They got to put some type of noise in the playoffs. A guy that's going to the AFC Championship, checking the DNA of a team, so you know what it looked like yeah. when it looked like it could go that far. 
Do you see that? Or do you say, all right, no, you guys are missing this piece, even with what you have missing on defense, with what you don't have on offense. Does any of that to you say, nah, this is this is a team that legit has enough in the cover to make that run? This is a team that has enough to make a run because they have those special players along that defensive line. I mean, every, every successful team that I've been around has those guys that can affect the quarterback, especially on the defensive. I can't talk about the offensive side. I didn't play that side. But defensively, they have what it takes to get to that, that next level. They can get after the quarterback. You look at those Giants teams that Eli won a Super Bowl with. What did they have up front? Superstars, Hall of Famers along that defensive line. And we have some of those guys that have those caliber. You got Micah Parsons. You got D-Law. You got guys that can win one-on-ones and put pressure on the quarterback. We've seen it earlier this year. If they can get that swagger, that mojo back about them to get after the quarterback, I think they stand a great chance of making a long run. But – Hey, so we got to see it out there first. So I love the way you just did that too, man. Because the, the Giants teams, the Rams last year, Rams. Uh, I remember D. Ware was out there with Von Miller. Like all these teams, they got what they got. One thing in common. <laughs> they Look, one San thing Francisco, in common. they got right? they didn't win, but they you know they right? got that pressure they, up front. For the most part, they take care of the ball too. Um, yeah, so I think yeah. if we could get those two things done, I think I think we'll be okay. Um, continue running the ball, continue playing defense, <laughs> continue turning the ball, or taking the ball away. And you got a shot. But I think for our team, the one moment one of those things doesn't happen, I think we're in trouble. Yeah, Danny, when you go through the 48 um, and and you're talking about the, the guy uh, on that roster that needs to improve his play for all of those things that we just outlined, Ooh. who can who is there a player that you could point to to say we need more from said player because of he affects us this way? Man, that's it's it's tough, right? Because Dak has had a a, a couple really good games, yes. you know, outside of the previous when he was leading the league. But I still think it's him. Okay, I think it's him. You're paying Dak a lot of money. We've seen how good Dak can be. Yeah. We've seen him protect the ball, and we've seen him be able to take over the game, especially when he needs to. When With you Minnesota. get third and short, you get third and seven. Even if you get a third and thirty, right? <laughs> you gotta have like you gotta Thank have. Thank you some for type, mentioning that. You have, that was you, big. I'm just that saying you gotta big. have some type of faith in your guy to be mm-hmm. able to make that play, right? You can't say, man, it's third and fifteen. We don't have a shot. Let's get punt team ready. Like your team has to believe that he can go out there and make that play. And if Dak continues to elevate his game and get back to where he used to be, protecting the ball, making the, uh, those big-time third-down plays, I think this team is un- – and I'll say it. I think this team is unstoppable because you can mm. you can play defense and you can already run the ball. Now, if you get your quarterback to play at, at his highest level, you can beat anybody. This is facts. And uh, I, got, I got two people on this one. Go ahead. I got two people Knock on yourself this one. Out. Right. Um, Offensively, you know, outside of Dak, you got Dak on there. But I'm going to go Michael Gallup. And, you know, I feel as though if he can get ah, maybe 70, 80 percent of what he was before the injury, I mean, you know how dynamic that is for an offense and how defense has got to say, okay, shoot, we we double CD, but we got to leave Gallup alone who can beat any DB one-on-one. And you got T.Y. Hilton who's become that second security blanket out there to Dak Prescott to go along with Dalton Schultz. I mean, that, that would put headaches on any defensive coordinator out there. So if Michael Gallup can step his game up a little bit and become that, you know, number two or 1B, whatever you want to call it, uh, I think that would be huge dividends for us offensively and defensively. I'm going to go D law and not to say that, you know, he's having a bad season or anything like that. He obviously he made the pro bowl, but if he can become, you know, that, that just home run wrecker, you know, that we've seen in the past, those, those two years back to back when he had double digit sacks, if he can get back into that game, it also puts so much pressure on an offense. Cause we, I know you're going to give the attention to Micah, but you're just going to leave, you know, D law over here one-on-one. He's going to beat, he's going to beat yeah. the tackles like, you know, like right. a drum. And then if you put all the attention on those two guys, then you bring in your other waves of pass rushers in there. So if we can get a little bit more out of those two players, I mean, it, it, I think it would prove huge dividends come postseason. And, and, and this is what they say. The preseason is, is one level. It's one level of playing, right? You get mm-hmm. to the regular season, it speeds up. And I think, like you said, when we say get a little bit more out of them, get into that playoff mode where mm-hmm. the where the, game, the speed of the game changes from regular season and uh, and preseason. Like, it's a totally different yeah. level. And we want to see them turn, turn that playoff level on. 
No, I mean, look, man, you took my guy. Uh, Michael Gallup was my guy. Yeah. I, I could see him, and just from what T.Y. Hilton has proved that we needed. T.Y. Hilton's catches, if no one's known, noticed, those are chain-moving possessions. Yes. And that's what the Cowboys need. That's what we were expecting from James Washington. And that's why T.Y. Hilton, when he came in, it was like, okay, well, we've <laughs> – What you need me to do? All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we already, we already took care of that. On the defensive side, same with D-Law. I mean, offensive, I, I'm, I'm with you with Dak. But I, I want to see Leighton Van Der Esch. Mm. And how healthy he is. You can see that it's made an impact on our defense without having him in there. His yeah. leadership, getting guys lined up, things like that, I think they've missed that out on the floor. If they can get that back, I think that's going to be special for this defense, especially with Hankins coming back. Mm-hmm. Dog, y'all, people, a lot of people have not noticed the way that Hankins' absence has been for us on the defensive line. I think Neville Gallimore, also Diggy Zua, guys like that, they're specialty and rotational players where I think when you do guys like Hankins, when he comes in, he is a space eater mm-hmm. in, in keeping that heat off of Leighton Van Der Esch. And so if he can come back and be healthy, I think that's going to make uh, things work a lot better uh, for for this defense. But I'm not done with my smoke. We're going to take our first <laughs> break. I got more heat. We're going to turn the heat up in here on the players now. Stay locked in with us. We'll be right back with more. It's Smoothie King's original angel food and new angel food slim without added sugar. You no longer have to choose between treating yourself and hitting your goals this summer. You don't have to choose between great taste and feeling great. Because at Smoothie King, every blend is made with whole fruits and no syrups. So you can satisfy your cravings without compromise. The only choice you will need to make is which one is best for you. Try our classic angel food or the new angel food slim blended without added sugar. Smoothie King, rule the day. Attention Cowboys fans looking for the best shave of your life. There's a new official razor of the Dallas Cowboys, Shave Logic. Imagine not having to buy blades as often and getting more smooth shaves than your old razor, guaranteed or your money back. After more than 10 years of research and over 150 company patents, ShaveLogic is proud to offer Cowboys fans a special offer. For a limited time, visit ShaveLogic.com and get a free $10 gift card with your purchase. Go to ShaveLogic.com now for more smooth shaves guaranteed. Nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. You hear that? I'm a torrential downpour. Torrential? What's that even mean? It means you can't see out of your windshield. And if you have the wrong car insurance, you might have to make it rain to fix your bumper. So switch to Allstate, save money, and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Based on coverage and limits selected, subject to terms, conditions, and availability. In most states, prices vary based on how you buy. Allstate Bar and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And they snap it to Prescott, who looks right. It's not there. He escapes left. He'll run for a first down. Just like football, when it comes to crypto, it's important to have a team you can trust. With blockchain.com, I know I'm in good hands. Since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. Back to the Players' Lounge. James Wright is your 2022 Cowboys Fan of the Year. James brings the spice to every Dallas Cowboy game, and now he needs you to help him bring it to the Super Bowl. Vote for James to be given the ultimate title of NFL Fan of the Year, presented by Captain Morgan by casting your vote at NFL.com slash fan of the year. Mm. Back in action here at the SWBC Mortgage Studios. This is the Players Lounge. I'm Heckman Harrison. It's Danny McCray and Barry Church. Yes, and all. what we do, man, is we just keep it 100 and, you know, hey, somebody get upset, just leave your feelings in here and just walk out. You know, <laughs> it's what it. it is, you know. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. So you about to hurt somebody's feelings? No, nah, ain't nobody hurt no damn <laughs> feelings, man. Say, you know what, no. Me. And let me tell y'all something. So uh, during the break, every t- every time we take a break, well, man, when you gonna make that reservation, man? You gonna, gonna make that reservation. Yeah. You you, you may as well. Go handle that reservation. No, I, there's hope. There's hope. There's hope, hope on the table. There's hope on the table. <laughs> hope, hope on the table. I don't I care about you. what Day Ball say. The Tyrod Taylor we trust. <laughs> It's him by itself. Huh? Tyrod Ty Ty gonna take Ty it. Tyrod Ty gonna do it. You remember, remember when uh, any given Sunday when Willie Beeman had pissed off the team <laughs> and he went out there and they were blocking for him? I'm gonna do it myself. <laughs> 
Tyrod Taylor, man. Hey, I'm going to pray for you, my brother. I'm going to pray Tyler. for you. Now, they're going to play hard. They're going to play hard. That was one of the best scenes. Man, I don't understand that. <laughs> he got hit with the, the stock and kept on. <laughs> <laughs> man, do y'all know the bubble guts I had when I heard Brian Daybo say that? Man. Oh, man. Yeah, Daybo said that. Uh, my stomach just. <laughs> he started looking at his phone. He thought uh, he was going to text him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to wait. I'm, gonna wait. <laughs> I'm like, man, that's not what I want to hear, man. I want to hear you say we going all out. We playing everybody. We yeah. approaching this thing like a playoff game. But a lot of teams right now, man, with knowing where they're locked into seeding, they know that, look, who they're going to play. They're just trying to get guys healthy. And for yeah. the Dallas Cowboys, you think about it, they played – Chris Beam helped me out with the numbers. I think it was three games, 12 days, something like that. It was a crazy number of, of games that they played. But now they've been on a 10-day rest. Yeah. And you guys know for sure for this team, this is imperative. Um, but the NFL didn't do you any favors by lining you up at the same time as the Eagles. So <laughs> they knew what they was doing. <laughs> they knew what they was doing. <laughs> they so they you can't. Doing. So one thing you can't do, you can't clock watch, and you 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 know got to play. I guess. I guess once you find I out that say, yeah, by halftime you, are, you should be able to clock watch. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, that was my question. That was my. That was what I was going to ask you guys in in that situation as a player, knowing what you have at stake and knowing that look, you probably are maligned to your fate to know that you're going to be playing the Tampa Bay Bucks. Are you kind of sitting there looking up at the at the, at the ribbon saying, "Hey, I'm, I'm playing hard to, until I know that you know what I'm saying." Like, hey, coach, I probably need to get out of here because if I get hurt, then I'm not gonna be able to play in the playoff. I'm asking That's for that. Now, everybody can't ask for that. Like, if I was out there, I wouldn't be able to ask for that. But guys like Micah, guys like D. Law, guys yeah. like Dak, Schultz, Schultz, <laughs> like th yeah. those are guys you look and you say, "All right, listen, that Eagles and Giants game is out of hand." All right, Eagles, Eagles putting it on them. What are, what are we going to do here? And you're going to start hearing the announcers say that, too, if it happens. Like, oh, yeah. hey, so <laughs> it's about time you get Dak up out of there, ain't it? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's, as a player, yeah, I'm looking at that, too. Yeah, definitely, you know, you, you see the side. The sideline, you look up. You know, you can see the stats and all that good stuff. And if that score is out of hand, you know, I'm sure they'll start pulling cats out left and right. But, I, you know, I've always had the, you know, feeling that, you know, any, like, super successful team I was on, we always, you know, played throughout. And, you know, we didn't have a choice either way, but we played throughout. You know, I've been on the teams in 2016 where we had that first round bye and we was all relaxed and, you, you know, cats didn't play the last game, had a week off, and then we got smacked in the playoffs. And then I've also been a part of teams that had to play all 17 games and then come into that wild card weekend, we still had that momentum going. We still had that, that going about us. And those were the most successful teams I've been on. You know, the 2014 yeah. team, we played all 17 games, won that first round game, lost in the second round. Jacksonville played them all out, won a wild card, won divisional, got all the way to the AFC Championship. So I've always been, uh, you know, the belief that you just you, you play them all through. You yeah. play them all through. I understand with injuries and all that, you can't risk people getting hurt and all that good stuff. But I've always liked playing all the way through and not having a break because I I've seen what happens when cats do get breaks. And, and y'all have the, you know, obviously you guys having, as former players, knowing what the mentality is like going towards the end of a season, knowing what you're going to play for, yeah. right? Are you yourself already playing this game with the scenarios in your head, like <laughs> where I would prefer to go? You know, like this is, hey, if it's going to fall like this, I'd rather do this. You know, oh, yeah. is that I mean, because everything is still on the table for the Cowboys. I mean, come on. Yeah. Seriously, this is true. I mean, everything is, is yeah. still on the table. You still could wake up <clears throat> Monday morning, NFC East champs and with the number one seed. You go, it's going to take a whole lot of dominoes to fall. But that could happen. Oh, yeah. Or you could be hosting a game here at home. I'm definitely looking at that because yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'd be like, all right, man, we, I'd rather stay home and play within my own confines of the, you know, the stadium that I've been playing in for, you know, forever. I'd rather stay here. So I'm definitely, you know, doing these scenarios through my head. And whenever, whoever we get a chance to match up against, I'd rather play this team because I feel like we match up well against them or this will right. be an easier victory. You know, some cats go out there and they say, you know, hey, it doesn't matter who you play. And yes, it does. Yes, right. yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yo. Match up sort of thing. Yeah, match up sort of thing. It matters who you play. So, to me, I, I'm still looking at all that stuff. Even if I'm playing, I'm still looking at all well, that. Well, Pete, so, so all, all the games that affect us are, are at the same time. Yep. Yeah. Every so last one of them. Tough. All at the same time. Yeah. And, but you look at it and you say, goodness gracious, 14 and a half <laughs> point favorites for 49ers. Man, and the Eagles that's stupid. are that's 14 crazy. point favorite over the Giants. Ooh. They heard what they all said. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you look at it, you say, man, you're you. Hopium. There it is. Yeah. Hopium. You got to have it. Holiday. But now you got to look at both of these things, right? Well, if San Francisco's losing, do you want to win? 
Hey, like, what, like do, do you do you want to do you want to move your seed or do you want to try to stay in the same position? Because you said it matters who you play. Like, mm-hmm. which is the best matchup for you? Are the coaches thinking about this? Who's thinking about like how how we go about? I guess continuing the game once we see the scores for the other two games. How yeah. much do they matter? That's true. Because Church says they matter. Yeah, they matter. <laughs> who, no, they who, who you possibly play matter? What seed you get matter? Yeah. Right? So if, is it is it correct in saying that if the 49ers lose and we win, we jump the 49ers? No, nah, because then Philly – because Philly was – Phil, no, Philly I'm, saying, I'm saying Philly would get the bye. Yeah, yeah, they'd be number one. But I'm one. saying – and then 49ers – No, because the, nah, we beat Minnesota, didn't we? So – I'm we, saying, does, does our seed change if – we win, the Eagles win, and the 49ers lose. No. No. So so no so matter what, so no matter what happens, we need both of them to lose, and that's the only way that we change. I believe so. Is that right, C B? No, it changes if Philly loses Six. and we win. It could be second. If San Francisco loses, loses we're first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if San Francisco that, wins, we're second. Yes, that's what I just said. And San okay. Francisco be number one, right? Yeah, San Francisco yeah, be number right. one, and we'll be, be number, number two. two. Minnesota three. Yeah, so yes, yeah, yeah, so I'm saying, you, I'm, I'm saying yeah, you, it, it, can, it can change based off what you're what yeah. you're hearing. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it, it's going so to be interesting. Cowboys interesting would have thing. to play the winner of well, there's three teams they could play. If if they win the game and Philly loses, they could. Uh, and San Francisco wins, they'd either play Green Bay, oh. Detroit, or oh, Seattle. Seattle. Yeah. It, it matters, bro. Ooh, yeah. what, what happens in this at, at that 325 game window, it, it really matters to the Cowboys and who we play and how we're looking at the matchup for, yeah. for what we what we will be playing, playing in the playoffs. Well, let, me, let me ask y'all both this. You know, let's just say things happen. Would you rather see Tom or Aaron Rodgers? Tom. You'd rather see Tom. Hey, let me tell you something. Green Bay can run the football. They can. They they can run the football and 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 they also can throw it. But they play defense and they run the football. A, a matchup for us where you say, man, I, I don't know. A team that can control the ball against you, hold the ball for a, a eight minute drive every time they get the dang ball. That's not a, that's not a team that I'm looking forward to playing. Can the Tampa Bay Buccaneers run the ball? Not right now. The same thing happened last year. Remember. Yeah, when we true, were yeah. wishing for San Francisco and we ended up getting them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, what you everybody didn't – everybody was like, no, we don't want to play Arizona because they got this high-power uh, offense and they already beat us that year. We want San Francisco and they came in here. Yeah, but we, we knew go, San Francisco yeah. could run the ball. They came yeah. in here with the boom box and we saw what happened. <laughs> yeah, let's not even talk about that, breaking up old stuff. <laughs> now nah, that, that was that was nightmarish, boy. That, that super gremlin. Don't like it. By the uh, way, they still have the boom box. Yeah, I know. Hey, Did coming you see to the Rams game. Uh, yeah, yeah. Game? coming to uh, a stadium boy, near you. Hype for the, going to Vegas, <laughs> yeah, boy. Nah. No, I mean, Woo. you talk about those matchups, and I think those are the most intriguing. And once I, you know, you break down the the way that this whole playoff seeding is going. I'm saying to myself, if Green Bay has to go to San Francisco, I'm watching that game. I'd like to see that one. Because yeah. I, to I, me, I think based off of everything that you just pointed out about the running game and also the fact that they play defense, that's going to give them – they equalize. I mean, I think they're equal parts to being able to beat San Francisco at home. Um, that's that's going to be an intriguing matchup. I'm watching this Giants-Vikings because I already told you how I feel about the Giants. But – on the on the other end, when I go back to Tampa Bay, I go back to our first game versus them. We didn't play good at all. Mm-mm. And I mean, play you off look, Lenny. You're right. <laughs> we no, off. we didn't play good at all. And, and don't look now. The game versus Carolina was not something that I wanted to see from Tom Brady. I'm sorry, I didn't want to see that. Mm-mm. I didn't want to see him wake up. You know what I wanted him to kind of lay dormant and do what he was doing. Team look as bad as they've been. And for all those reasons that you just pointed out, what quarterbacks are doing against the Dallas defense, getting the ball out of their hands quickly. He's the master of that. He is. He is the master of getting the ball out of his hands quickly. And offensively, a lot of people don't give him credit because of his struggles this season. They've only won eight games. But offensively, his numbers are right below uh, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. yeah. They defense keep him in the game, too. No, don't don't yeah, sleep yeah, on the yeah, linebackers, man. I'm no. Just, those are two guys <laughs> – Devin White, what's the other? Uh, Levante, Levante, Levante David. David. Them two dudes, they are difference makers on that defense. Um, so they just was, look different without Shaq. I, I was, yeah. I would still rather play uh, them 
Just because I've, I've, I've watched the guys play. Them dude, A.J. Dillon, is, he's a man. He's a truck. We man. had <laughs> them by 14 points in the fourth. That's true, too. We had them. We had them. We huh? had them. Had them beat. We had them beat. On, hold on. So, so, so we not going to apologize for almost winning. Yeah, but you going to hear talk about because we almost. Come no, on. I mean, for almost losing. Wait a minute. So, we played the Texas. We come here and be like, we ain't going to apologize to nobody. Wait a minute. Because we almost lost. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Is that the case? That was You had a team. Only one. You had a team down by 14 and 4 if you lost the game. I like that. I like that. I'm just saying. You good. You good, dog. You real good, dog. That's fair, bro. We're going to take our last break on that note, man. Y'all stay rocking with us with more Players Lounge. We'll be back. Are you good, dog? You good. Nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. You hear that? I'm a torrential downpour. Torrential? What's that even mean? It means you can't see out of your windshield. And if you have the wrong car insurance, you might have to make it rain to fix your bumper. So switch to Allstate, save money, and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Based on coverage and limits selected, subject to terms, conditions, and availability. In most states, prices vary based on how you buy. Allstate Bar and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And they snap it to Prescott, who looks right, it's not there. He escapes left, he'll run for a first down. Just like football, when it comes to crypto, it's important to have a team you can trust. With blockchain.com, I know I'm in good hands. Since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. Want to use what the pros use? How about the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys, Jack Black? Right now, you can get the Jack Black Starter, a curated collection of Cowboys locker room favorites for just 10 bucks with free shipping. The starter includes four Jack Black skincare favorites plus a full-sized intense therapy lip balm. Go to getjackblack.com slash cowboys and use the code word TEAMJB. That's getjackblack.com slash cowboys. The Jack Black Starter, 10 bucks. Free shipping! It's Smoothie King's original angel food and new angel food slim without added sugar. You no longer have to choose between treating yourself and hitting your goals this summer. You don't have to choose between great taste and feeling great. Because at Smoothie King, every blend is made with whole fruits and no syrups. So you can satisfy your cravings without compromise. The only choice you will need to make is which one is best for you. Try our classic angel food or the new angel food slim, blended without added sugar. Smoothie King, rule the day. Back to the Players' Lounge. This is how we country. Country Music Party. Country Music's Party of the Year is coming to the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco. The Academy of Country Music Awards are always bringing you country music's brightest stars together under one roof. And no one does it country like Texas. Witness history on May 11th. Get your tickets at SeatGeek.com. Dog, we got to get our Luke Cases, bro. And we got a and we got a bell up in there. Yeah, like, I'll probably put my Luke Cases to the knife. Yeah, me. Y'all think about yeah. yourself like the boot cut you said? You know, you saw the boot cut? Yeah, you we saw one of the cases to, uh, to the night. <laughs> I got a pair of boot It ain't going to happen, man. Gotta, no? It ain't going to happen. Okay. Miracles happen. Now, I know. I keep reading all this stuff. Miracles, Miracles happen. And, and I feel like we do. We do for one. Let me ask y'all something. Y'all, y'all both, you know, Texas down here. Yeah. They don't rock the Tims down here, huh? No, no. They don't no butters down here. That's up north. That's up north thing, like, though. I ain't seen a pair of butters down here in, we see, we since see, I came. So we we don't walk, we're not walking through snow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah, you know what it's, I mean? There's no snow on the ground. Have no, you noticed no it? No butters, though. Them, they clean. No. We, we know right? where you from. When we when we walk down the street, we see somebody with Tim's on. Especially yeah. we know exactly what what's up, from. son. Yeah, yeah, what's up, yo? That's expect. That's, that's what we expect. Through, what's up, son? Done. Absolutely. Son done. That's crazy. Put the butters on. Puffer jacket on. My man is sixty eight degrees. <laughs> <laughs> my man. I almost pulled my butters out. What was that when it was cold as all hell out here? What was that? Yeah, Couple weeks Christmas, ago, yeah. yeah. I almost pulled them butters Catch out. Catch you a flight to New York, bro. Feel good. You know, dip set. Your butters stay clean. But. <laughs> I ain't pulled the butters out since 2010. They got, a, they got a scuff on them. Hell, they haven't changed them since 2010. It's the same damn the boot. Butters, dog. Bro, you was running around right here uh, in 2010 when the Super Bowl was here in the Timberlands. Hell yeah, with the butters. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Yeah. Yes, we had man. to skip the whole time. Hey, clean. 
clean. That's that Pittsburgh stuff, man. You know, it's Texas, man. It's different down here, man. We white at first ones all year long. Yeah, y'all got the uptowns for sure. We ain't playing all year long. We ain't playing with that, man. It's Texas, baby. It was on them days. Oh, they gone. Throw the whole shoe away. You know what time it is, man. But. Man, look, we I feel like we overlooking the uh commanders. And you did you see the major Tutty uh press release? What Major Tutty got to say? Man, he got the he had the skinnies on. No, he had man. the skinnies on. He was he was boy, he was he was major busting out Tutty the frame. He had the skinnies on. That is pretty hilarious. But what marketing group like this is a group of people. They don't have the same social like... team. They don't have the same social <laughs> team as the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Everybody, everybody tries to rise to their greatness. And, ooh, you talk about missing the mark. You know, it's like when I said, read the room. <laughs> we gonna kill him with this one. We gonna, like, wait till we release this. Ain't no, no. ain't no way. Hey, I, I need to see that group of people. Yeah. I need to see what they into, what games they play. I need to see because he ran out, bro. And nobody, I, bro, nobody in that stadium was like, ooh, yeah, that's that's it. That's, that's the, the nobody lit. on TV was like, ooh, that's it. Literally, the last they, stopped. They did oh, shots. Kind of like that too. I'm like, what group of people are saying like this is it? We gonna this is this this is it right here. So I guess that's where our disrespect is coming from. Major Tutty in the skinnies in the butters. <laughs> <laughs> you know he got some butters. <laughs> the the DMV butters. <laughs> The Tutty Butters, boy. The Tutty Butters. Tutty Butters. And a fitted cap on, too. And a fitted <laughs> With his shirt tucked in, man. Hey. But, yo, what time, what time for the Cowboys and the Commanders, man? Just let me know, man, as far as the challenge for uh, the Cowboys, man. We got to just – you know, be respectful. You're uh, right, because Tennessee did the same thing. Pretty that's much. true. All right, came out here and we right. – Right, man. Yeah, we Absolutely. should go out here and destroy these dudes. We just ain't been able to do it. So, come out here – Everybody at this point, this is your warm up game for the playoffs. This is your I need to get myself back on track game for the playoffs. If you were playing good, focus on continuing to play good. If you had bad games prior to this, this is how you get yourself back on track. Go out here, put some good stuff on tape. Hopefully, you're out at halftime, and then you can carry that momentum going into the uh, into your first round of the playoffs. Yeah, I, they need they need to stomp a mud hole in uh, the commanders out there and. You know, third time's a charm. You know, it was with, you know, uh, Jacksonville, Houston. Third time's a charm. They cannot let this team stick around. I know I've said that multiple times this year, and it ended up being a close game. But come on, man. They, they got to be able to come out here, make sure they can get their boys off of the field by halftime, and, you know, let these young guys go in there and get some reps. And they should be able to do it. They're going against Sam Howell. And even though I just said, if you don't got the tape on some people, it's hard. I mean, I mean this guy's a rookie, man. And he, he's yet yeah. to throw a pass out there. I mean, this is where we need to go out there, take his lunch, and make him reconsider ever signing up to play football. And, that, and that's what the case needs to be for this defensively, offensively. Dak, just go out there, be efficient. You know, don't, don't, you don't need to wow the world out there. Just don't turn the ball over. You know, do that same formula that that got to the the Cowboys to this point. Run the football and lean on your defense. And he can take shots whenever he feels like he has the opportunity to do so. I'm looking for a complete game from this team, and I'm sure we'll get it this Sunday. I I, I forgot to add this. Um, Get T.Y. Hilton started. Mm -hmm. I think in the playoffs he's going to be an X factor. He could be. I think he can be an X factor. I think I'm not. I'm not calling him Odell or any of that stuff. What I'm saying is you saw the impact that a guy like Odell had for uh, the Rams last uh, season when he got to the playoffs. We've all seen what T.Y. Hilton can do yeah. when he had Andrew Luck with him. Yeah. I know some of that stuff is still in there. He still got We've his seen it. Third, thirty. <laughs> we saw we saw a big time conversion uh, in the last game. Yeah. I think T. Y. Hilton could be an X factor in this in this uh in these playoffs. So if they if they want to make this playoff run. You something else, dog. <laughs> <laughs> what you no, no, no. You know what? I agree. I agree uh with that. And um I, I just think for our defense, I don't want to go into the playoffs with this question mark looming around our pass rush. Mm-hmm. I want to see this pass rush get get after a rookie quarterback. Um, I think the questions that you guys have been asking, and they've been they've been the right questions. Who's going to play behind? Who's going to be the missing link for Anthony Brown? We've seen mm-hmm. what his absence has meant to this defense. We haven't had the play on that other end across uh, from Diggs. Yeah. So I think Nation Wright. We started to feel a little bit better about him at the end of that Tennessee game. And obviously, the way that you feel about Deron Bland is the same. You feel like he's a slot corner guy. Yeah. All right, but linebacker wise, our pass rush it has to be there. Make no mistake about it. The the Commanders are a talented team, 
And I don't know when ownership is going to get their head around the fact that they are one quarterback away That's from possibly it. making a run. And I'm sorry, I can see, I can see it myself. It, tight end Logan Thomas is a threat. Mm-hmm. He is the real deal. Uh, wide receivers Curtis Samuels, Dehan uh, Dotson, and Terry McLaurin. McLaurin hasn't had an, uh, a game versus Diggs. Diggs obviously has his number, but I just feel as though. Look, these are some guys that you cannot ignore. And defensively, these are the kinds of teams that you're going to start to see in the playoffs. Especially in the trenches. Especially in the trenches. Especially in the trenches. So my offensive line, um, looking at this defensive line uh, for the commanders. Come on, man. Montez Sweat, Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne. Chase Young. Chase Young. <laughs> I mean, let's just, let's just keep it real. So there's a lot of things that we, we've said, especially in this game, we cannot overlook the commanders because for us, like as you just stated, you don't want to go into the playoffs reeling, and you want to be sharp. So for however many quarters our guys play, if it's the whole game, whatever, or just the first half, look sharp versus their ones. There you go. And so I'm going to be looking for that. What a – I got nothing, man. I was just, I was just enjoying hearing you talk positively about another team. Man. I do that, and, but it's, but it's everybody except the Eagles. <laughs> I mean, I, they always. I, when I got here, I always heard that the Washington, the Washington team was the rival for the Cowboys. So I was, I expected the Cowboys fans to really dislike the Washington team, and then now it's. I mean, this dude, he he rooting for the Giants. <laughs> for Go sure. day ball. He talked nothing but sure. positive about the commander. Sure. I'm talking about one quarterback away, name the whole roster. Yeah. Good roster. <laughs> you got a, you got the, the Eagles. They got a good team. They got good players on that team. This, Cross it, the defensive first line, of all, it's, quarterback, it's a, whatever. I'm just saying, you know, I, but I get you, though. I got you. I'm glad. I'm glad. I was just in, I was in awe. Danny, Philadelphia is a horrible city. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's just, let's, just put it, let's put it out there on the line. No, you know what? I'll say this. Sirianni as a coach, the way that he has coached Jalen Hurts, he has done something that a lot of coaches in the NFL need to do, and that's put your guys in a position to succeed. He doesn't ask Jalen Hurts to do anything that he can't do. He doesn't send him out there <clears throat> and say, I expect for you to throw the ball like Joe Burrow. He don't ask him to do that. He asks him to play within his capacity his capacity, get the ball to his receivers in spaces where he can be successful, and he relies on him comfortably in the running game. There are not a lot of head coaches in organizations that will allow their quarterback, moneymaker, to take the risk that they take with Jalen Hurts. And so my question is, how is that going to correlate into success in the playoffs knowing that he has an AC joint? I knew he was going to try to knock him down. The man can throw the ball. The AJ Brown and the what do you mean? That, like the man can throw the ball. What do you mean? Like, yeah, like put him in. What do you mean? That literally hurt to me to say all of that. Space. That literally hurt. <laughs> that literally that, hurt. Yeah, and I just you, pulled all of that out. I literally yeah, yeah, yeah. put him in position. How? Put him in position to get the ball in space to do what he what can do. The man make every throw out there what? on the man. <laughs> that's our time. Oh, what's I mean, oh, that's our time. I got the cow. I got the Cowboys winning by 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 fourteen. You got you got the Cowboys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thirty-one seventeen. Thirty-one seventeen. What's your what's your scores? Twenty-eight seven. Twenty-eight seven. Yeah. You saying it's gonna be like whooping, whooping? It's gonna be whooping, whooping. All right. I'm saying thirty burger. I'm going thirty-three. I'm saying thirty. We score thirty-three. I'm giving them ten. Thirty-three, 33 ten. 10 uh-huh. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm saying that that's that's it. But look, man, this has been fun. Uh, Newly out in L.A., balling, doing it. You know Man, what I mean? Pinky, pinky finger to the moon. Uh, Chris Beam in the back putting up with everybody. Audio Jazz, the whole staff, everybody that's been doing it. This has been our week uh, in the DallasCowboy.com studio. And uh, like we always do on Fridays, guys, you may want to remove your there headphones you go. you because go. I got a head. Cowboy Nation, I hope your team win! This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this?